Hello, I'm Melissa. I like to play board games. Often I have people to play with, but sometimes they're too busy to play with me, and sometimes they play with other people. So what's a girl to do? Fortunately, there's a long history of playing games with people who aren't there, not that kind of people, this kind of people. The earliest game known to be played remotely is chess. In correspondence chess, players write down their moves and send them to one another. The guy on the right here is Alberic O'Kelly de Galway. He was the first grandmaster of over the board and correspondence chess. But correspondence chess may date as far back as the 9th century, when the Emperor Nikephorus and the Caliph of Baghdad are thought to have played a game. Other early matches include one in 1119 between Henry I of England and Louis VI of France, and one in the 18th century between Frederick the Great in Berlin and his tutor Voltaire in Paris. But it was the introduction of the uniform penny post in 1840 that made correspondence games accessible to a broader range of players. Embracing new technology, people even played chess by telegraph, and by the 1900s, you could buy pre-printed postcards to send moves to opponents. Actor Humphrey Bogart had to stop playing correspondence chess because the FBI thought he was sending coded secrets. In the 1960s, people started to play other games like Diplomacy by Mail. And by the 1970s, people were developing new games to play by mail. So it came out in about 1975 and was soon played all around the world. Players would write their orders and send them in, the moderator would resolve them and send the results back out. Originally they processed them manually. The writers received the players' orders and entered the orders into a computer program to resolve them and then sent the printouts back to the players. So while some firms were developing digital engines to play games, these guys were focused on reducing the moderator's workload and ultimately eliminating them altogether. And that's the roots of digitisation of board games. Game engines enforce the game rules, so you can't make an illegal move. They automate random draws, shuffling and scoring. Some use the same turn-based model as play-by-mail games. Players submit their moves and they're notified when their actions have been resolved, but others allow you to play in real time. The Brechbilwelt online game world has hundreds of thousands of registered players. Just as play-by-mail games freed people from having to be in the same room as their opponents, digitisation of play through email and online moderation made it easier, faster and arguably more accurate. Digitised board games on computers, consoles, smartphones and other devices let us play wherever, whenever and with whomever we like. Even on Facebook. This flow of content across different platforms is called convergence. Whoops, gotta go. Happy gaming!